everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today we are doing the plan to pan for 2024 and this time we are focusing in on nail polish. If you've been catching up with my project polish, you know that I've been doing extremely well this year. Yeah, look, at those are all X's. Those are all finished. Here are the ones that we have that I'm still working on. The blue, the nude, uh, the dark green, I know it looks black, and the red. So doing so, so well on all of that. So today what I want to do is kind of start setting the intentions for next year. Now, next year I do want to work through more full-size bottles because this year was just pushed to get bottles out. And I still want to get bottles out because I have way too much nail polish. Uh, however, uh, I want to have a balanced approach. So I don't just want to have, you know, year after year of like, knock all this stuff out and then it's like all full bottles left so i've got a basket with a lot of stuff in here um and we're gonna go mainly by brand except the first thing i want to talk about first is the one plan to pan nail polish for 2023 that i didn't even touch so didn't pan it didn't use it and that of course is this one here it's a little mini from essay it's in the shade off tropic um and the problem is me being silly, greens are more for me, as I'm wearing green today, but generally it's more of a spring color for me. And I rolled in three greens, or, or had three greens that I wanted to pan. So didn't even touch this one. So that is the first one that I want to use up. But now let's get into all of the new polishes that I'm hoping to make it into my project polish next year. Now that nude is going to carry over because it's like halfway done. So that will be technically part of the plan to pan as well. But it's in Project Polish right now, so I don't want to grab it yet. Um, let's start with the brand I have the most from. And that is Essay, since we already did their mini. And I'll also let you know the seasons that I'm thinking of bringing stuff in. And one that I kind of want to bring in right away is this one here. Uh, this is Midnight Cami. It is a very beautiful dark blue. Uh, it's looking so much prettier in the light right now. It does come across fairly dark on the nails. Looks a little bit black in some lights. I wish it was a little bit more like this kind of blue that you're seeing right now. But in terms of where we're at, like it's like way up here. Like there's not a lot of use on it. And this is very good, much gonna be like winter. Like once spring comes around, I'm not gonna wanna use it. So hopefully I can get it pushed out in the first couple months. I'm gonna be rocking a lot of blue coming up soon. This one's got more use on it. Also Essie, this is Marina Cool. Merino Cool, sorry. Um, as you guys can see, we're basically right here. So we've got more progress on that one. I do think I wanna use this one in winter as well. So this might be a January pick. Um, again, lots of polish in here. These are full sizes of 13.5 milliliters, so. A lot of polish to do, but it's a little bit more of a neutral option without being like full on nude. It is more summery picks. I've kind of missed a red this year. Um, I didn't do a whole lot with reds, but this one is a very bright summery, really red. And as you guys can see, this one also has a bit of progress. So line is right here all the way around. Beautiful bright summer red. It's looking more orange on camera than in person. Like in person, this is a very nice bright red. So I think that'll be nice for summer. And then I have been working on this year, Sinful Colors Endless Blue. But look at this one, you guys. Like, like it's separating a little bit. So I, I need to get going on this one. I have not used it before. Uh, this is also from Essie. This is in Butler Please. Um, it looks gorgeous on other people on YouTube, so it's like, I want to get that myself. But I've never used it, so we'll see how this one goes. This is also going to be more of a summary option. That's a lot of full-size bottles. So let's go with something a little bit smaller. Uh, a spring pick for me is this light purple in Lacy Lilac. Uh, lots of people have panned this one in their project polish. And it's just a beautiful light purple. As you guys can see, I'm right here-ish or so. This bottle is a little bit smaller, coming in at 11.8 milliliters. So, very nice spring color. And then a summer, summer color. Uh, same line is this one here in Pink Punk. And as you guys can see, 
there's some weird separation going on right in here, but it's there. It's there. So if we shake it up, wow, there we go. See, it's fine when you shake it, but when st things start separating like that, I do kind of want to get moving on them a little bit faster. Uh, let's go with a smaller one. So have you guys ever, I'm sure you have, let me know your stories for this. Um, you see a nail polish in the store, you're like, no, I'm not going to get it. And you keep thinking about it and you think it's going to be so beautiful. And then you actually buy it and it's not quite as good as you were hoping. That's the story with this one. This is Essence. So this is in their current bottle shape. This I actually had in my project last year for 10 uses. Um, this is their Shine Last and Glow Gel Nail Polish, although it's just your basic nail polish. There's only 8 milliliters in this bottle and it's already got a dip. So as you guys can see, 10 uses got me down to here. Uh, this is something I will have to do toppers with because I'm not a big fan of this kind of color. So yeah, whoops. I love my Sally Hansen's. Uh, this one is also, as you guys can see, getting that oil separation there, but it's full to the top. Like I have never used this one yet and I probably should. And this is probably gonna be a fall, winter, Kind of option for me. This is in, sorry, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in all gray all night. So it is a very light gray color. So we'll want to get some use on that one as well. Again, kind of going a little bit on that nude side without being like full on nude. Uh, one that is a little bit more nude that's looking not so great in the bottle right now. Have not used this one either, but this is something I picked up from the BoxyCharm shop back when it was just BoxyCharm. This is the Orosa Charlie Dixie line uh, in the shade, or sorry, the Pure Cover Nail Paint in the shade Abyss, which, um, yeah, it's, it's looking rough. So we'll just shake that one up again too. And that's one of the ways I prioritize. Like when it starts looking a little weird, it's not perfectly shaken up there. It's still got some discoloration at the bottom. But I think this will be a nice nude that can work most of the year, hopefully. So we've got that option as well. Another untouched polish. Again, we've got that separation going on. So never touched. So we'll get this going as well. This is the Revlon. This is in the shade blushing. And again, it's a beautiful pink. It's got some sparklies throughout it. So I think that'll be nice. Like this could be really all year. So I think that will be absolutely beautiful. Now don't worry guys, I still have some small things because this is a lot, a lot of polish. So one of them that I have is Cosmic Colors. So you guys saw me use a number of these this year. This is my last six milliliter bottle because they did redo their bottles that come with seven milliliters now. Um, and this one is kind of like this bluey, greeny kind of color. Um, this is gonna require three coats if it's consistent with previous versions. Um, so like other colors from the exact same line, you can buy like six of these for like three bucks, dollar twenty-five. I don't remember, but it was pretty cheap, a little set of six. So this is the last color I have from that set. And then we have more of a winter red. This is the Sephora color hit uh, in the shade. It girl made in Luxembourg, sure. Um, so I, I'm thinking for February, so you have like a nice red for Valentine's Day. So, and again, untouched. So lots of different polishes here on the table that I would like to try to pan next year. Um, they're probably not gonna be the only things, just because again, like I like to plan, but you do wanna have a little bit of that variety for in the moment options. So lots of things here, some stuff that was a little bit more new, some stuff that was more colorful. We've got winter, we've got spring, we got summer. Do we really have some fall options? Not really, but again, if I don't finish stuff in winter, um, so for example, like this midnight blue, I'm not gonna use that come spring and summer most likely. So I might, you know, pause it and bring it back. So I wanna leave that flexibility in there. That is it. That is gonna wrap up today's plan to pan nail polish for 2024. So we've got some good things that I'm looking forward to. And again, I'm so pleased by what I was able to accomplish with my 2023 nail, po nail project.
can't. Now, of course, keep in mind, I do my pedicure about once a week in the winter with socks. It's more like once every two or three, it's not bad. But my manicure, I do basically every single day. Um, just because I use my hands a lot, I'm a bit rough with my hands and I get bored quickly. So that gets where I get a lot more of my use. So we'll see how this project goes. That's what I'm thinking for next year. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.